here's the 2009 Dodge Ram 1500 4.7 and 4.5.7 as far as I know. Tip them, total integrated power module removal and replacement. And as you can see, I have two of them in the truck right now and I have a third uh, with a, well, I don't have the third anymore. The third was trashed. What we're gonna do is take this tip amount, which is perfectly well and functioning, replace it with this one here that's been repaired by uh, Circuit Board Medics, I believe is what the, the website is. Um, my original one was too far gone. They had this one and uh, replaced it. So I'm gonna take this one here that's been upgraded by them, I'm gonna swap it over to this one here that I got out of a junkyard somewhere. I'm not gonna say where because uh, they're almost impossible to find. But here you go, this is gonna be the swapping out. If you're wondering why, I'm swapping them out because this one's been upgraded and this one has not. I'm gonna try to give you guys the best uh, view of this. This is almost my seventh or eighth time. So uh, I'm somewhat of a professional on this. We'll just say I'm an internet professional and we'll get at it. All right, the first thing I wanna do because I'm messing with the electrical system is I'm gonna disconnect my battery here. Uh, there's really only three tools I think that I'm gonna need, but I should, uh, if, I, if I grab something else, I'll let you guys know. Uh, first off, I've got a 10 millimeter wrench here to take off that battery terminal. Uh, second thing I've got here is a half inch socket and that's to take off the uh, the power ground or the power lead to the actual tip of itself. Uh, that's why we disconnect the battery because if we take off the positive, this is a positive lead to here. If it hits anywhere on the frame, it's going to arc on us. The negative for it is right here just in case you're, you're wondering. And I got a basic Leatherman and a flashlight. So that's really about it guys. With the positive disconnect from the battery, I'm going to open up the, the tip of itself here. Um, there's, a, there's two little clips over here. I'll show you. On this other board, one is broken. Uh, so uh, usually you could just kind of pry this off and pop it off, but because it's so far gone, uh, I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take off this positive lead with my wrench. Okay, my positive lead's off. So the next step in this is where the Leatherman's gonna come in handy. There's a series of clips. Um, looking at it right now, I believe there's three, maybe four. So this is one of the main clips here. Basically, you're going to push in on this little tab and kind of pull up. There is slack in the wires and uh, uh, it, it will come out a good deal whenever you do, do uh, remove it. Um, so all I'm doing is really, I'm just pushing in. I'll show you with my my Leatherman here. All I'm doing is pushing in on this and I use my finger, see how it's spring loaded, and then pulling up on it and then you'll see the whole tip is going to come up. See how it lifts right up and then you have access to all of your connectors under here. What you can see is the bottom of the tip from here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven connectors. I can show you a little bit better on this one that doesn't have any connectors placed in it. Um, yeah, the camera's kind of positioned here. So you can see we have these, it's actually positioned like this. These three down here at the bottom and then on the top, we've got these four. Uh, these four here have a little latch and I'll show you it more in detail, but basically you have to push in on a disconnector. You have to push in on a disconnector and then throw the latch. Um, this one here, I did break it on my original tip -um, but There's a little switch with a little red tab. You have to pull up on the tab and then push in on the switch. It doesn't take a lot of force unless it's really dirty, but you just pull up on it and then you push in. I'll, I'll kind of show you that. Okay, what I want to illustrate is when you pull out your tip -um, your switches are going to more than likely be in this position. So you have this red safety switch, and then you're going to have to position it up like this blue one. If you notice when I took mine out, I did not have those thrown. Or, yeah, thrown. So what I'm basically doing is I've got just the piece of the Leatherman or a flathead screwdriver lifting up on those switches. This one's already lifted up. And then it's easy. You just kind of pry down. Now these switches kind of, when you throw this bracket, 
it kind of cams the actual plug out so you have to push it a little bit till it stops and then wiggle it a little bit out push it wiggle it push it wiggle it and it should come off just like that do the blue one you can see the cam right here and due to plastic fatigue i believe a piece just broke off of my safety latch it did so you see right here there's two little safety latches um, yep so you're supposed to push in on this this guy here whenever you pull this throw this tab so um, doesn't affect it shouldn't affect my function that much yeah so the safety tab still holds it in place so we're still good Let me get my Leatherman and this happened to me before when I took it out I, I broke another safety latch on the smaller um, cannon plug so I'm pushing wiggling pushing there it goes So you might be wondering, well, how do I know that these are the same right here or which section these go in right here is blue and right here is green. You can see it. It's highlighted. These switches here, there's a little safety tab here you push in on and it's the same way. The, uh, the throw actually cams it out. not to break another one because I've already got three three latches here that are, are broken from removing it so many times this isn't a common thing to remove it's just kind of one of those things when it when it craps out on you that's when you know it all right I'm gonna try to get you a view of here so these ones here they're kind of the same you just pop them right up why they couldn't make all of them just like that I don't know all right so then this is the one that i broke now on the other housing that i broke before the actual cannon plug came off of like this receptacle here came off of the base of it so uh it what it didn't damage the physical board but it did pull that bracket off it would have had to been epoxy back on so there's like a three-step process to taking this thing off you press in on a little tab that's not present on mine and then you push down on this Normally it's going to be in this position here. It's going to be up and uh, you push down on it. And what it's doing is it's releasing a latch on the plug. And then you push in on this little piece in the inside of it. And then you kind of wiggle her out. You're supposed to push down on it and it's supposed to pry this latch out. So what I'm trying to do now is um, get in there and pry that latch out. I'm going to go get a scribe. there it goes see how there's this this little latch right here basically there's a finger that comes down snaps over top of it and what you're doing is you're pulling that latch out there's the inside you can see right here is that little latch that I'm talking about when you push this this safety latch down here what it should be doing is camming that that surface out like that so this is our old replacement junkyard tip -em. This is our new refurbished uh, tip -em. So let's go ahead and pop her in. I'm going to start in reverse order. I'm going to put this clip back down on there. And you should hear a positive lock on that, and it did. And then what you'll end up doing, excuse me, pulling back up on this now oh, there's the white so as you see right here there's the white this is the white cam plug pushing down and it's camming it down and then it uh, locks in place there's a little tab right here that you could take some of the pressure off let's do the red next you can see the red there's a red mark right here 
pushing it down. Locked in place. Our brown. So, like I said, with these, they, they cam out whenever you um, throw the switch. So you kind of have to throw the switch and you have to push in at the same time. You can see just by, I'll just physically push it down in there. Watch, and you see it, you see it camming. So you kind of have to do those two motions at once. All right, those are both down there. Green is last. Let's get this big guy. Push it on the little safety tab. Back into place. So because I'm missing that safety latch, you see how this spring loads up? I'm gonna get a zip tie and I'm gonna run a zip tie around it just to, to safety it in place. Oh, never mind. This has a little safety in there, so it's good. I'm not worried about that at all. All right. And last, our green. quadruple safety latch right there down on there all right double check everything make sure it's all seated everything's cammed and safety down safety 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 all right make sure we don't have anything major in the bottom of this this bin because i'm hoping never to pull this apart again There is no drain hole in the bottom of this, which is weird um, that you would have all these electrics and no drain that I've seen in there. All right, I'm just slowly lining it up. You see there's, there's the tab right here, there's a tab right here, right here, and then there's one way back here. I'm just slowly What I'm doing now is taking my positive lead off here. Throwing it back on there, same way it came off. This doesn't have to be super tight. Okay. Close that up. Reconnect our positive lead. And that's it. Next thing, last thing to do is start up the truck and make sure we don't have any faults and make sure that everything works. Uh, the indications you'll get whenever your tip doesn't work, if I haven't posted the other video, is you'll have stuff like your rear, rear windows won't work, windshield wipers won't work, your horn won't work, your door locks won't work, um, your front windows will work. You'll have a bunch of erroneous messages, like one about the coolant fan. Um, you'll have no windshield uh, motor for the uh, sprayers. That won't work. Um, trying to think what else. Uh, an ABS light. It's just a bunch of random things will happen all, all at once like that. So if you're having that problems, chances are it's your tip them. Uh, you need to swap it out as soon as possible. And... Uh, yeah, it's, um, they're hard to find, uh, but you can get them repaired to a certain extent. Like I said, mine was too far gone, and that's how I got this replacement. So what I'm going to do is clean up this mess, and I'm going to start up the truck and make sure that it runs. So this is just swapped it out. I'm going to show you these, uh, these messages I'm getting. I'm getting a brake, an ABS, uh, the airbag, uh, the anti-skid, 
Uh, four wheel drive auto is coming on as well, which is really weird. I've never seen that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive it around the block, maybe about a half a mile. Uh, this happened to me before when I swapped out the Tipum is I had this ESP BAS light before and after I swapped it out and it went off with um, simple uh, driving it around like a half a mile and it all cleared out. So here's drive number two. Uh, drove around the block, kind of sluggish. Uh, four wheel drives, light, all the lights were still on. Got back down to the house, tried to turn off that four wheel drive auto and um, something in the rear end kind of locked up on me like the brakes or the four wheel drive or something. So it skipped and left a couple black marks in the front dragging the rear end of, uh, sorry, it, it left some black marks in the front of my driveway dragging the rear end. So what I did is I turned it off, uh, put the parking brake on, pressed the gas, I think it's like five times, and then did that reset you do for like oil changes. So as you see, my ESP S lights off, my ABS light is off, my four wheel drive auto light is off. I'm gonna try cycling through my four wheel drive to make sure it engages. So there's four wheel drive, that clicked in pretty quick. There's four wheel low, and with four wheel low, it takes off the, the ESP, electronic traction control. Let's go back. Okay, let's take the parking brake off. Parking brake light comes off. This is just because I removed all the sensors from the wheels uh, because they were falling out. All right, seatbelt lights off. Let's try driving it around the block again. So that's it, man. Uh, it's it's working now. I'm gonna keep the other one for a while to make sure that this one still works good and I don't have any problems with it. But uh, yeah, that's how you guys change out your tip. I hope it helped.